And through the power of technology, you're actually hearing my thoughts right now. No, I'm just messing with y'all. So I wanted to show you guys what it looks inside a amazing theater, opera house in the city of Buenos Aires. So if you don't know, this opera house is legendary. It is the oldest in all of Latin America. So if you want to see very highbrow type things, you know, Poogies and Ray Ray stay at home. But if you want to suit up, you want to go see some theater, some ballet, you want to hear the orchestra, real classy type things that you could do with a date or, you know, just appreciate it for yourself and, you know, see what's out there on the scene. This is a place I'm highly recommending to people to check out when you're there. Everything was on point and I can't recommend it enough. Focus, man. So I hope that I got y'all attention now and I can explain where we're at. This is Avenida Corrientes, Calle Corrientes in the city of Buenos Aires in the capital. Now this area would best be described as a Broadway feel if you're familiar with New York. This is the area where all of the theaters, where plays and a lot of touristy restaurants and things are uh, found businesses etc now right now we are coming through the metro system in the city of Buenos Aires the city has a line called the Subte and the Subte has about five different lines in the city and it's very easy to use it if you're curious about how it works it's a cashless system as you can see here, you have a card and uh, the card is how you pay for your ride. And I have another video on the channel where I break down everything about how to use the card, where to get the card, how to load money on the card. All that information is in a separate video. So if you haven't seen that, go to my channel uh, at the list of videos and look for Buenos Aires Sub Subte card, S-U-B-T-E and it'll give you all the information that you're looking for now this system as i said it works until about 11 o'clock at night i believe i've taken it as late as i think 11:30 is the latest i've taken it maybe it goes a little bit later than that in the evening but it's very easy to navigate your google maps will show you which stop to get off on if not they have maps on the wall that will give you the names of all the major subway stops and for most tourists you're pretty much only going to need the green line and maybe the yellow line but other than that most people aren't going to be using any of the other lines so like I said super easy to navigate the trains run very often so if you miss your train you go in the wrong direction one or two stops you won't have to wait more than five minutes for another train which is good peace of mind versus when you're on the bus if you try to take the bus it could drop you off anywhere and you don't you can be very disoriented uh, when you get off in a random part of the city but because the metro system is fixed you don't have any of those issues so I highly recommend if you're tired of using uber and you want to get around but walking is too far you can hop on the metro and give it a try when you're in the city of Buenos Aires Now the next thing I want to show you is an Afro cultural day in the city. Now I know a lot of people who have never been to Argentina think there are no black people in the city. But as you can see here, that's clearly not the case. There is a black population in 
Argentina. There's a lot more black people than you actually can see in this video. This is a snapshot and this is when the festival was about to end. So it is not at its peak. But you have a lot of vendors who set up things, different African influences. So you've got the Brazilian culture, you've got the Haitian cuisine, you've got, I believe they had Cuba as well, Dominican Republic, all the major Caribbean Spanish speaking islands that you can think of were represented. And as far as the mainland, like I said, Brazil, Colombia as well, there was a lot of Afro culture as far as cuisine, people, if you want to network, meet other black folks in the city, this was a great place to do it. And they did have some musical performances, I didn't watch that many of them, but they tried to capture some of the Afro flavor as best they could. I mean, it's still Argentina, you know what I'm saying? But they tried their best and it was definitely a unique thing to experience in a city where if you're not in certain neighborhoods, you might feel like there are no black people in the city when there definitely are. But uh, the city's so big, everything's so spread out that most tourists who are gonna stay in Palermo, if they see another black person, it's usually gonna be another black tourist uh, from the States or England. They're not gonna run into too many local blacks who are living, thriving, and working in the city. So this was an event that gives a little bit more visibility to the Afro population that does live in Argentina and specifically in Buenos Aires. Now, as far as I know, this holiday, which I believe is October the 8th, is celebrated every year and it's been going on for about 10 years now in the city and some of the other provinces, which are states, some of the other parts of the country do actually celebrate this day as well. I can't comment on what it's like in some of those other cities, but I know that this is not only in the capital and they're trying to give a little bit more visibility to the Afro population. Like I said, it's still Argentina, so it's not gonna be Cuba overnight, but you get a little piece of that flavor here. <coughs> Such thing as a life that's better than y'all. Focus, man.